You can't trick God. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Pillstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, sincerity, and wholeheartedly. And Shalom to the Aqua, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. And it said, Now when he, and the he is Yahweh Shai. Now, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. But Yahweh did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men and needed not that any should testify of men, for he knew what was in men. <clears throat> so you can't trick God. You could trick men, but you can't trick God. And, you know, this is why you got to stay prayed up, too, because as a saying, um, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So when you go into the word heart, which is lob in the Hebrew, it's your mind. So your mind it's deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. So you might actually think you in the truth. You might actually you might actually think that you know the Lord dealing with you. But you can't trick God. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. So as we see, you know, you got ex camp leaders being unruly. You know, scoffing, being an unbeliever. Agents is popping up on the scene, acting like they brothers. But the Lord, you know, he said that these things will happen. You know, so take heed. Take heed to how you build upon this truth. Take heed. Matter of fact, let's get there real quick. It said, according to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I will have laid the foundation in another builder thereon, but let every man take heed how he buildeth thereon. So you have to understand what you are in and the ramifications that comes with it. Going back to when you go to um, John 10, it talks about how the word is sweet in your mouth. When you swallow it, it become bitter. You know, when you swallow it, you digest it and you live by it. That's where the chastening of the Lord come. So it sounds good, you know. So going back to, um, <coughs> you know, it sounds good. Especially to be in your mouth. You know, it, it sounds good when you say, yeah, I, I am Yashua Allah. I am from the tribe of, you know, whatever tribe you're from out of the twelve. Yeah, the Lord, you know, he only dealing with us. He only love us. You know, that's all good and dandy. But then when you start getting chastised, my son, when thou comest to the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Ecclesiastes 2 and 1. It's not an easy thing, but in your mouth, you know, when you're speaking it, it's good, you know. So the Lord, as, as these three scriptures said, he know all men. And don't and don't nobody have to tell him about what what manner of man that this man is. He know all men. So you can't trick God. You know, for the little time that I've been in the truth, man, I came across a couple of people who, you know. It ain't my call. It ain't my call. But just know I got my attendance up. But I've been wrong a couple of times and. You know, and, 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 and anyway, I ain't even want to speak on it. Um, let's continue. <clears throat> so it said then, because I'm just getting straight to the point. I really should start from one, but just for the sake of time. It said, then saith he to his servants, the wedding is ready, 
but they which were bitten were not worthy. So you see, the Lord knows all men. That's why he's able to make this statement. And as you see, it's in all red. This is Yahweh Shah talking. So people who are even been into the marriage is not worthy. As you got crept in unawares, you got spies. You got people who, you know, they're not in this thing truthfully. You know, their heart is full of deceit. You know, so you and the scripture said to deceive and the deceivers are his. And that's why when you go to um Second Corinthians 13 and 5, it said examine yourself daily to know to see that you are in the faith. And you should know what type of manner of man you are, unless you be reprobate. So it said, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as you shall find, bid to the marriage. So the Lord, so even going to Matthew 25, it said, Let the wheat and the tares grow together. The tares is Jake looking. But they actually Edomites. So chocolate covered Edomites. You got you most likely because the scripture said it, you most likely have chocolate covered Edomites in the camp. <laughs> you know, um this is I'm telling you, man. All 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 I'm saying, and I'm really making this video for myself first. You know, um, you can't trick the most high. I'm talking to myself. Like with this, as as a scripture that I read in Jeremiah 17 and 9, it said that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. So you can, you know, psych your own self out into into thinking that when like when you get rebuke. Oh, matter of fact, I haven't brought that out in a while. You gotta learn how to humble yourself. Proverbs 18 and 17, he that is first in his own call seemeth just, but his neighbor cometh in search of him. So, you know, I love the scripture, but I want to read it in the NLT for to get you to get more understanding. It say the first to speak in court sounds right until the cross examination begins. So if you're a person that, you know, always justifying yourself, you always think that you're right. Then when you get reproved. You can never be reproved because in your own mind, you're right. But we just read in Jeremiah 17 and 9 that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Now, going back, you know, you can't trick the most high. That's what the point of this video is. You can't trick the most high. So it's a going to go ye therefore into the highways and byways and as many as you shall find bid to the marriage. So those servants went out to the highways and gathered together all as many as they found both bad and good in the wedding was furnished with guests. So even though we don't have a say so in who is the elect, but your best bet is to pray and to try to stay on the right side of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Even Paul said in First Thessalonians 5, pray without seizing and i'm serious man like we we in a time of you gotta know if your conscience is right you you got you got to take heed examine yourself as the scripture said and it says and when the king come in to see the guests he saw there was there a man which had no on, wait hold on and when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. So you got men out here that is naked. And what do they mean to be naked? Let's get a precept real quick. <coughs> this will show you the government. I mean, so it said, behold, I come as a thief. Blesses he that watcheth and keep of his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. So to be without your garment is to be without the most high. So you got people who's putting on a front. All right. Blessed is he that keep of his garment. And it says, but oops. And when the king and when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, friend, how thou how comest thou in hither? 
not having a wedding garment and he was speechless because he had, at that time it ain't no talking I mean you've been found out <laughs> you're gonna be found out in that day so you're gonna be speechless so you tricked men you can't trick the most high so i always look at it like this you might have brothers that you know your spirit don't mesh very well but the lord may love him and then, and then the brother that you love so much, the Lord ain't even dealing with. So you got to take heed to how you treat brothers. You got to take heed in how you walk in this truth. In all aspects, this ain't even just about, you know, how you treat brothers. But like even when you like what your intentions got to be pure. Matter of fact. This is why the Lord said this. So these are they which are, were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. Oh, I wanted five, but I guess I read four. These are they which are not defiled with women, but for they are virgins. Talking about that you ain't bow down to the philosophies. You stood ten toes down for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This ain't talking about sex. These are they which followed the land whatsoever he goeth, these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high and to the lamb, as the scripture say in Ephesians one and four, you know, being predestinated, you know, from the foundation of the world. And, and five, it say in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the most high. So, you know, in whose spirit there is no guile, as it say in Psalm thirty two also. So you, you have to be pure in this thing. You know, and the thing is, the ones who's playing games, they know who they are. But the Lord just got them in a trick bag right now. So it's saying, he said unto him, friend, how comest thou hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot, take him away, cast him in the outer darkness. There should be weeping and gnashing of teeth for many are called but few are chosen. And that's why this truth is very, very special. It's not for everybody. Even though many have been called, only few are going to be chosen, which we all hope to be chosen, the ones that are sincere. That's why Yahweh Shah said, those who endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And guess what? We're approaching the end, and now it's time to stay prayed up. So you can trick men. You can't trick the Most High. So examine yourself. Matter of fact, I quoted it. I'm going to end it on it. And I'm talking to myself first. <clears throat> it says, examine yourself, whether you be in the faith, prove your own self. Know ye not your own self, how that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is in you, except you be reprobates. All right. Reprobate means to be without judgment. All right. So. Listen, man, we, we, we at the end. Ain't no time for no damn bullshit, man. So, so anybody that's playing around, the Lord going to judge you. He's going to find you out. And hey, examine yourself. So hopefully this video was edifying and shalom.